Assalamu alaikum guys I am Mustafizur Rahman I welcome all of you to my video this video is going to be very helpful for those guys who have installed their WordPress website on digital ocean server using server pilot <coughs> actually the purpose of this video is to edit htaccess files uh, for your WordPress site mm, in one of my videos I have showed how to edit htaccess files from Yoast SEO plugin I think uh, that was the easiest way to change your htaccess files from uh, your website's dashboard while editing your htaccess file you may do any kind of uh, fault or a problem with your codes then uh, what's the solution uh, how can you restore your website today uh, while coding on my website i have uh, encountered uh, with a problem let's see the problem this is my website uh, maybe i have uh, i did uh, some wrong code wrongly coded on uh, htaccess file and this is why my website has been down so how will i change my htaccess files again as i have no access to my dashboard uh, searching on internet i have found uh, some easy and best way to change or edit htaccess files for uh, server pilot uh, to do this you know you can do this of uh, using any kind of sftp client uh, like filezilla uh, well using filezilla you might not uh, see hidden files like htaccess and uh, css or uh, php.config so my target is to change htaccess file which is a hidden file uh, to edit this file I have to download a program um, called cyberduck cyberduck.io I am going to download cyberduck windows uh, application sorry windows uh, software if you are uh, on mac you can down download uh, cyberduck for mac version and uh, if you are on windows like me then you can download uh, cyberduck for windows uh, i have uh, downloaded a uh, cyberduck mm, so let me check cyberduck where is it cyberduck open folder one thing uh, you must have uh, uh, .NET 4.5 installed on your system because a uh, server duck requires a program sorry requires a uh, .NET 4.5 version okay I have installed it now I am launching the server duck in first while you install cyberduck for the first time you have to configure cyberduck properly to view hidden files so click on edit button edit button then go to preferences check I mean give tick mark in save workspace then tick mark on keychain it must be marked as checked then set up default pro uh, default protocol as sftp and then go to browser tab check all the boxes here because checking on this box will allow you to show hidden files 
and you can and you can open files in external editor and you will have much more privileges uh, using all the features now it's time to connect my connect to my database i'm clicking on open connection i'm going to my server's host mm, hosting account which is serve uh, digital ocean i have to <coughs> put my server's ip address here server's ip address means my web server's ip address that means droplets ip address i'm copying it here is server port make sure the port <coughs> is 22 then username which username will you put here this is the username that you have used in server pilots server going to server pilot to check my username basically the, the default username from server pilot is server pilot I'm logging in this is my website and yes this is the system user server pilot copying it now you have to put uh, paste uh, the password you used while setting up your server pilot account I'm placing my password and clicking on connect connection opened yes there we go uh, we have logged into the uh, root of my website you can see hidden files here which is quite impossible for uh, quite impossible from uh, uh, digital oceans console console uh, 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 sorry which is very uh, difficult uh, from digital oceans access con uh, console pa uh, console panel okay uh, now I am going to apps my website's name I have uh, created uh, this app using my website's name public now htaccess htaccess you can edit any kind of files from here like robots.txt wp sorry uncle now I am going to change my htaccess files where is it one thing to tell you all hidden files uh, will be shown as dot htaccess or dot mm, the name of your hidden files now this is the time to remove my changes for which or for what my website has been down I'm saving it and upload is completed once again login I'm checking the stxs file if it, if it is uh, okay now I mean correct now okay it's been updated so let's check the website again <coughs> as you know each and every changes uh, need uh, 5 to 10 seconds to 
um, refresh uh, to take a uh, update here we go techwall.com okay my website is running now few seconds ago we have seen that internal server error because I have uh, configured my East Texas file wrongly now I have uh, deleted that configuration from East Texas file using cyberduck sftp client and my website is up now guys i think this video will be very helpful for those uh, users who have who are using uh, their uh, wordpress installation using server pilot and digital ocean so thank you for watching and if this is uh, worthy of uh, watching then or if the uh, if this video helped you then i will request you to subscribe for my next videos thank you